and look like all those hair posts that you see all the cool kids in on Instagram. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is a hair tutorial. Um, this is obviously the before. I just finished drying my hair and my hair is naturally curly slash frizzy and I live in a very humid climate. So I'm gonna show you how to get this instead of this or like this with this. Anyway, um, I've been wearing my hair a lot more wavy in recent videos and you guys have requested me to do a tutorial on how I style my hair that way. I've already done a, a styling on a styling video tutorial on how I get the perfect like 90s curled under look. So if you would like to see that video and how I get that style that doesn't look like <laughs> I will have that linked below, but today is all about easy, super easy, easy, easy waves. I have never styled my hair like this before, and I just kind of got a groove of it. We're using two tools today, a flat iron and a one and a half inch curling iron. So that is what I feel works best with this length of hair to achieve these results. So I already have my protectant in, which is my go to always the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Primer. It protects up to 475 degrees. Okay, so this is the best of the best. All right, so all you need is a sectioning comb, some clips to get your hair out of the way. They don't have to be like professional tools or anything. They're just something that can help you part your hair. So I like a center part. You can definitely do this style with a side part, but I like the classic center part and a really clean part I feel like makes the world of difference and I used to not really pay attention to that but now I do and I just enjoy it a lot better. Three sections of hair that we're going to be working with today. There is a very good trick to this. I still have eyeshadow on my wrist from doing my makeup earlier. Also my plant is on the ground here. I should scoot over so there's like some some semblance of a background, but I am using my plant stand as um, my hot tools stand. And actually I'm gonna take this shirt off and I got a bug bite right there. It is itching like crazy. I'm going to be using today my beloved GHD Platinum Plus flat iron. It only goes up to 375. I've said this in a million videos, but I purchased this last year and it is literally the best flat iron I've ever purchased and I'm very glad I did. It only goes up to 375 because GHD believes that that's the amount of heat that your hair can take and all it needs to hold style and it does and it's wonderful and I love this flat iron. So here is the key to this exact style. This isn't like, you know, curled away from your face waves. This is like the perfect bend in a in your hair, but still with, you know, some wave to it. You'll see like all of Johnny Ramirez and Co Tran, like this is how I feel like their shorter haircuts look. And I think this is why. So I like to take my flat iron and we're gonna do that wave motion just three times like that. Okay, I know it looks crazy right now. So you're gonna go up, under, and up again. Just think about how you want your hair to lay and that's how many bends you wanna create. So I like a good two, two bumper wave and this is how I achieve that. And the underneath is a little tricky cause it is pretty short. So I just kind of do the same motion just really quickly under here. Doesn't have to be perfect. More it's like the, these top layers really need to be focused on. So I'm going to do the same thing through this center section. So I'm going to go up, under, and up again. So basically what you're doing is creating a wave that if you were to use a curling iron, you like pulled down and held. So it's really a lot faster, less damage to the hair because you can go a lot quicker and you're not holding against a hot barrel and this will hold all day. See how it's kind of coming together. Do you see that? And you can get a little more extreme too if you wanted to. I'm just taking my comb to brush through. Go up, under, and up again. And by up, I mean like imagine a car going up a hill and down a hill. <laughs> and as you can see, it's creating that perfect bend. So up, under, up. Now, depending on the length of your hair, you can do more, but I suggest if you want, you don't want like that mermaid wave look, 
go longer with your hold. So imagine your hair's longer. You don't wanna go like as quick as I'm doing it. You wanna go hold, 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 under, 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 hold, hold, hold. So it's a little bit longer of a wave instead of a mermaid wave. So up, under, up. And you can kind of, you know, smooth any other sections that may need smoothing, especially along the hairline if you have frizzy hair like I do. So my hair's naturally curly. Okay, so you can see how it's forming, right? And I'm gonna comb through this. I like using a uh, little uh, small, close toothed comb to comb through my hair because I really feel like it helps, you know, smooth out the hair so you're not like breaking hair in heat, you're not crunching it under because every hair is smoothed. So this is where things change a little bit. I'm going to now for the top layer of my hair, we basically just created the base. I'm going to use my one and a half inch barrel curling iron. I love the T3 curling iron. I feel like it holds my curl, helps hold my style for a couple days. I really love this curling iron. It's worth the purchase. I purchased all the barrels. I love all of them. This is just the perfect size for this style. So now I'm just going to curl away from my face. I'm gonna hold just one little bend, let go and kind of clamp down as I pull away and pull down. So basically the waves that we created with the flat iron, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the base for this hairstyle because once these curls are cooled, it all goes together. Away from the face, hold just one little, and then loosely let go. So you want to do this motion. I, I don't know if you guys can see as I'm doing it, but to release, I kind of go like this. I let it sit on the ends a little bit and then I pull down loosely. I feel like this makes a huge difference. All these little tips, I feel. I don't like to curl like this to where I'm taking basically the, sh the sh shaft of the hairs away from my face. I like to keep this top part flat to keep it a little more modern. So I will just kind of smooth right there and I will start curling like mid length instead of up here because I feel like that creates a pretty dated type of curl. And then I'm just gonna pull. And then you're getting that part, do you see how it's coming together, okay? <laughs> you just wait till this cools down. All right, I'm gonna do the other side really quickly. Coffee break. Okay, now for the back. Okay, this is literally what I do. I'll just turn around, but I just kind of feel it. I don't have mirrors, so I wing it. So I just feel the sections that I just curled away. I will grab my hair. Okay, that little section there. Clip that, and then I will go from these underneath sections. Hopefully you guys can hear me. And I'll just do that motion. It's pretty automatic. that section down and I will just do the same thing and hopefully that looks good now as my curls are cooling I can kind of tell some sections that might need some touching up like this one I don't feel like I curled it well enough so I'm gonna go back through here just hold it a little longer, maybe in the middle. There, that's kind of how I want it. I want it, it will loosen up in a second, but I want it to have more of a bend there. And then since we got put no heat in the front of our hair here, just to make sure I don't frizz later, I'm just gonna take my flat iron and barely press down and just kind of put a little heat on the front of the hair so it doesn't frizz. God bless those of you who don't have frizzy hair. <sighs> Be thankful. So I'm gonna wait for this to cool down and then I'm gonna show you the styling products that I use to finish it off. Okay, the waves have cooled, so I like to just separate them with my hands. I used to comb through and I felt like it really made my waves like and curls not hold as much. 
As you can see, we are gonna... Now is when I like to go in and do any touch-ups, especially like on my ends. So I will go and make sure my ends are kind of smooth and you can kind of make them stick out. You can do whatever you want. I like them to be a little more straight and curled under. You can just smooth out any end just quickly. And now you just have this really nice kind of wave about the entire hair. And I love it, I love it. So I like to finish this style off with the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Soft Texture Finishing Spray. This really helps anything relax really quickly that needs to, and it gives you just like a really nice soft texture. You can overdo it, you don't want it to weigh your hair down, so just a few sprays. Say you're like on the go and you really need your curls to relax quickly, but you know, still hold that style, this is perfect. So I like to just apply just a little to mostly the ends to give a little lift texture. Then to finish off, I'm going to use my Kevin Murphy Session Spray Stronghold Finishing Spray Hairspray. I love this so much. It is the best Stronghold Hairspray. You can brush right through it and it's still gonna hold your style. It's bizarre but that's why I've repurchased it for years. So I like to kind of do a little lift here in the front, just to make sure that bend right there holds all day. So you can also lift like this, then take a little on the ends of the tips of my fingers, warm it up, run it through the ends to kind of give it some PC-ness, you know, without having to use a pomade since I have thinner hair, so it kind of acts as a pomade with a stronger hold that doesn't make my hair weigh, get weighed down or greasy. So this is, oh, I put my jacket back on because I feel like this finishes the look. So this is the final product. This is my favorite way to just get those, that cool girl bend slash wave in the hair um, where the majority of the wave is really in the front of your face and you just have some nice texture throughout. But if you like a little more wave in the back and it, everything, you can go through and do a little touch up with the curling iron and it looks exquisite. But this is how I do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you try this type of styling tip and technique, tips and techniques, whatever. So it's just literally quick waves underneath and the very top layer. Girl, I'll use you a you know medium sized barrel and you'll be good to go and look like all those hair posts that you see all the cool kids in on Instagram. So let me know if you try it out. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. All right.